times 2 pi is the radian measure of an entire circle. If 2 pi is how we find the whole circle, 180 degrees is how, how much or what portion of a circle? One half, right? So if 2 pi is the whole circle, then half of that is half the circle. Well, what's 2 pi over 2? Pi. Notice, at 180 degrees, that is equivalent to pi. If 90 degrees is half of 180, then 90 degrees expressed as a radian is half of 180 expressed as a radian. Well, what's half of pi? Pi over 2. Does everybody see that? Does it make sense? Are you awake? You sure? Okay. I simply, I don't want you to get freaked out at this circle. I just want you to understand where we are coming from and where we are getting our unit multiplier to make our conversion. Now, the simplest thing that we can do is use as little numbers as necessary. A unit multiplier means we are going to take radians and the degree measure that's equivalent to it, and we're going to set one on top of the other. Well, the simplest thing we have here is 180 and pi. Because pi is not in a fraction, pi is not multiplied by anything else, it's simply pi. One pi radians is the same thing as 180 degrees. So when we are converting our unit multiplier for converting back and forth is either this or this. Now the way we determine which one to use is what are we trying to get out of and what are we trying to get into. All right? Because remember, 1 pi and 180 degrees is the same thing. So this ultimately has a value of 1. Now, we are going to take 270 degrees and convert it to radians. Now when I say degrees, I want you to picture actually having to use a protractor to be able to measure it out. Okay, but when we say radians, that would actually be something that you can measure with a ruler or a tape measure. Degrees, you have to use a protractor. Radians, you could actually use a ruler or, or a tape measure. Okay, now we're going to go from degrees to radians. Well, my unit multiplier is pi and 180 degrees because they're the same thing. The question is, which one goes in the denominator? We are in degrees right now. We are trying to get out of degrees. So degrees go in the denominator, and we are trying to get into radians. And there are 180 degrees in 1 pi radians. And so the only thing you have left to do now is simplify a fraction. The label degree cancels itself out. That would just be like inch, but instead of writing I in for inch, I would have had the little tick mark. Okay? So I have 270 pi divided by 180. The degrees are gone. Well, how do you reduce 270 and 180? What goes into them? How about 9? How about 90? Two hundred and seventy degrees is three pi over two radians. Now you might see in the back of the book RADS. It's the abbreviation for radian. Now if I change this to a negative degree measure, 
It doesn't change the way I convert. All that's talking about is when you actually draw it on a graph, which direction you're going in. Okay? So, if you want to convert degrees to radians, once again, you're trying to get out of degrees. So, you want to cancel that little symbol. And you want to turn it into radians. Well, there are 180 degrees in 1 pi radians. Yes? Coming back to circumference. 2 pi r is the physical distance around an entire circle. Well, r is going to change every time you change the size of the circle. But 2 pi is never going to change. Okay? So if you go 360 degrees around a circle, you're dealing with one whole circle times 2 pi. So 360 is 2 pi. Okay? It's the same thing. Well, 180 degrees is half of 360. So in radian measure, 180 degrees is half of 2 pi. Which is simply what? Pi. So 180 degrees measured with a protractor is this, but measured with an actual ruler or tape measure is this. So 180 degrees and pi radians are the same thing. Now, pi is actually this, right? It's an actual number. We're just using a variable to represent that number. So if I'm going to use this to change from one to the other, it's because these two are the exact same thing. And something divided by itself has a value of one. Now here, if we're going to convert from, this is never going to change. It's always going to be pi over 180, because just like it's always going to be 12 inches over 1 foot, and it's always going to be 3 feet in 1 yard. It's always going to be 5,280 feet in 1 mile. Okay? 1 pi is 180 degrees. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take it out of protractor measurement and put it into length measurements. So neg all this means is your answer is going to be negative. That's all that means. Everything else is done the same way. We are trying to get out of degrees, so we want the degree symbol to cancel itself. And the only way that can happen is if one's at the top and one's at the bottom. And then we're actually just going to, you know, multiply it out and reduce. What can 150 and 180 be reduced by? 30. And so negative 150 degrees is the same thing as negative 5 pi over 6. What you got to understand is that's an actual number. That's 5 times 3.14 blah 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 divided by 6. Two point six one six 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 units. Whether that would be inches, two point one six inches, or two point one six centimeters, or two point one six miles. Okay. That's the portion of the circumference of a circle. Yes. It's always going to be these two things. You're just, yes, and it's going to be in this order. Because you're trying to get out of degrees and into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Radians. Now, if I was trying to go from radians into degrees, it's still 180 degrees and pi, radians. But the question is now, what am I trying to get to and get out of? Well, now I'm trying to get out of radians and get in to degree. 